Hi everybody, it's Deborah. I just wanted to do a quick video um, just to show you around blog to social. Um, this is the social media plugin uh, that I found for my WordPress websites that I am uh, really in love with. Um, I've used some other um, software and some other plugins in the past and uh, this one I really like. The thing I like most about it is the price. Um, blog to social um, that well, they have a 30-day free trial where you you can download it, um, you know, and try it on your websites. And then their pricing depends on how many users you have, and what they mean by users is how many websites you're using it on. Now, I currently have five uh, active websites that I use this on, so I pay $119 per year, not per month, per year, uh, with Blog to Social um, for that. Uh, there's another one, I think it's up to two users, that's $79 a year. And then there's one up to 10 users, that's $199 a year. But again, for me, I have five websites, I use it, I pay $119 for the year, and I really like it. So here I am, I'm in my WordPress website, I'm in my dashboard, and once you download the Blog to Social plugin, which it's free to download, this is what you end up with. You end up with this at the top. And as you can see, you can you know choose what you're doing. So I'm just gonna take a few minutes, and I'm just gonna show you around just a little bit. This is on um, Blog to Social, you go down to Networks, and this is how many networks that you know you can um, post on. Now, a lot of these, not only did I not already have an account, I had never even heard of them. Um, like, obviously, I've heard of Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, Tumblr, um, Pinterest, Instagram. But you can see there's a lot of other ones here that, that I didn't know about. So the first thing you want to do is go into these social media networks and open an account. Make yourself either a page or a group or a profile, uh, you know, in Pinterest, we do a board where you create a board. If you haven't already done that, then you got some work ahead of you getting yourself set up. But um, what I would do is I would start with the, the most popular ones, say like Facebook and Google Plus. Um, Google Plus is great if you're on there. It helps you in search rankings. It, it, it helps you get ranked. Uh, you know, so go in, set up a Facebook page for your business, for your website and attach that and then go into Google and set up a page for your website. Do as many or as few of these as you want. Um, I think I did almost all of them because I figured why not? It's not going to cost me anymore. So anyway, I have my network set up. You can see that I have a Facebook page set up for this particular website. I have a Twitter account for this particular website. I have a Google page for this particular website. You see, so um, for each website, you can set up for it to go right to your page. Like I have a Pinterest page for this website. Um, so you get that set up and then what you do is like, for example, posts and sharing. This is where you go. Now there's a couple of different ways to do this. You can set up blog to social to post to your social media networks every time you publish a blog on your website. I kind of think that's probably what most people would want because then it's done. You know, you go in, you set it up, and every time you publish a post, um, it automatically puts it on your social media. Now, I personally don't have it set up to be automatic. The number one reason I don't do that is because some of the posts I do on my website are just um, – I call them mechanical, like they're a thank you page or they're a sign up page. They're not really a page of content. I don't really, you know, necessarily want to post it to social social media. So what I do is every time I create a, a page or a post on my WordPress website, I go into this, I click into post and sharing. That's where we are. And I choose the post that I want to uh, post on social media. Now, if I've just created it, then it's going to be the first one. Okay, so let's say I just created this post. I say, there it is. I say, share on social media. Now, what you can do is you can just, you know, click share. Now, you see it's pulling up all of your networks. It's pulling them all up. It's inserting the text. It's inserting your links. It's inserting your pictures. It's uh, um, inserting the amount of text that each you know, that each network will allow. It's also inserting hashtags. 
which I think is a very cool feature of blog to social. Now, if you wanted to, you could just click share. Oops, I just did. I didn't mean to do that. You could just click share and it will go ahead and share that post today to your social media networks, to all of them. Now, I'm sorry, I'm going to delay us just a little bit because once you do that, um, it does take a minute. Um, so I'll just talk for a second. Um, so you can just share it and it's done. And what I do is I schedule um, my posts. And what I do is whenever I create a post for one of my websites, I put it on blog to social and I schedule it to post the moment I'm doing it. And then every 60 days thereafter. OK, so every 60 days, my posts go on and on. Now, let me show you how I would have done that. Here's this one. I'd be careful not to click this time. Uh, let's see. So uh, here I am, share to social media. Here's another feature that is incredible with blog to social. You can click load best time scheduler. Now what that does is blog to social will figure out for you based on your content, what is the best time for your post to be on social media? Are most of the followers or followers in your niche there in the morning? Are they there at lunchtime? Are they there in the evenings? So you don't have to do that research. I think that's mind numbing. I can't believe that that's a service that they have. But you can see that since I chose that, they're suggesting 6.30 p.m. is the best time for this content to be posted. Now, see down here, you have the option. You can share it now. You can schedule it for a specific date, like if you wanted to, to you know, um, post next Thursday or whatever. I do reschedule recurrent post. Now, once you get into rescheduling a per, uh, recurrent post, you can do it every week for however many weeks. You can do it monthly for however many months. You can choose the day of the month. I personally choose my own period. I choose the maximum times of that it'll repeat, which is 50. Sorry. I choose 60 days because I want it to repeat every 60 days. You pick the day you want it to start. Let's say I wanted it to start tomorrow. It's automatically going to, that's the best time that it told me. Then I click apply to all networks. All right. So now it's applied these rules to every network. And then I would click share. I'm not going to do that right now. All right. So here's my post. Wrote it today. It's going to post. And then it'll automatically post to each of those social media networks, each of those specific pages made for my website every 60 days. Now, if you go in, let's go back into posts and sharing. And I'll just take a look at one of these because I do them all the same. So let's look at scheduled posts. Let's say, oh, no, I didn't want to schedule that or, oh, I did it wrong or something, you can go back into the post. You can search for it right here, and then you can delete the scheduled post. Okay, so if you make a mistake, it's okay. But, for example, say this one, um, I have, you know, I've already scheduled this. It tells me when the next share is going to be, and it lets me look at the details. This is one I've already posted. So it lets me look at the details and look at this. It shows all the networks, when it's going to be posted again, what time it's going to be posted, and it goes on and on and on and on. Now, the reason mine go on and on and on and on is because I have scheduled this to post every 60 days, 50 times. So if you look here, we go way, way, way into the future. If you're having a hard time catching up with me. Uh, and like, for example, uh, well, I'm sorry, this isn't really showing me what I want. Next share. Oh, it's just showing me the next share. Um, but it's got 441 scheduled posts, 450 scheduled posts. So what I was trying to show you, and I don't want to waste any of your time trying to find it, is that it verifies that this is going to go on for a while. You know, it's going to go to like, you know, the year 2021 or something. And again, you can always go in and delete these. You can always go in and change them. So that's what I do. Um, I like the price of blog to social. I've got five uh, websites. I could set them up automatically if I wanted to. Um, like I said, I don't only because there's some posts that I don't necessarily want to post on social media. Um, 
or you can just go in. It, it only takes a couple of minutes every time I write a post to go in here and do this. It, it literally takes less than five minutes and it's on all the social media. It's on there for good. So you know what? I could take off to Japan for six months and never touch a laptop. And my content would be posting regularly on social media all the time with no effort from me for my $119 a month, or I'm sorry, $119 a year for blog to social. And I just think that's awesome. I love it. Now, you know, I, there's other ones like Hootsuite. You know, there's a lot of other um, companies that you can do this with. But I am telling you, they're like $119 a month. This is $119 a year for five websites. If you only have like two websites, it's only $79 a year. Uh, so I just, I just really, uh, I really like it. So, um, I wrote the, I did this video for a couple of reasons. One is I wanted it on YouTube. The others I wanted to include it in a review that I've done, which I will link in the bottom of this video. I've done a complete review of blog to social where you can get the prices. You can click in for the free trial. You can do everything. And also for my email subscribers, um, if you go to the link, uh, you'll see in the bottom, I'll give you a link to sign up for my, for my emails, because I do videos often, I write articles, I do product reviews. So if you want to learn how to make money online, if you're already making money online, this is what I'm talking about all the time. So again, my name is Deborah. I appreciate your visiting. Please share the video. Please subscribe. Please like the video. And uh, please comment if you have any questions. I'm, I'm happy to answer for you. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.